all right good morning welcome everybody to my channel all right so i'm getting like a very eight nine and ten of sword energy all right it's almost as if like somebody is struggling like but they're not showing it it's almost like a suffering and silence type energy so and then let's see i'm gonna pull from this one i haven't pulled from this deck in a while Let's see if we can figure out what is going on here, all right? Put that one over there. All right, last shuffle. Oh, come on. All right, this I want to go together. Oh, so we have the fear with the masculine. All right, and then we have... Be resilient. The unexpected is coming. Interesting. And then we have the pleasure card. Uh, let's see if we can get one out here like this. It's like somebody is hasn't emerged. All right. It's like they're almost like in a very dark place. We have the power with the change. So there's power in this change. At the top, we have literally the purity. So we go from fear to purity. All right. And then we have the resistance. So there could be resistance when it comes to change. I'm seeing acceptance. All right. So... Let's see what we have coming out here. So we have some masculines out here that are having a very difficult time moving along. Feels like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders, their backs, and they're carrying it all. But there's something unexpected happening. What is this? Oh, we have the lovers that came out here. With the Ace of Wands. How beautiful is that? Oh, we have the King of Cups here. All right. A very loving energy. All right. The King of Cups is a very loving energy here. But wow, what's unexpected? The Ace of Wands with the lovers. Oofda. Wow. So somebody's fearing, fearing this love. It must be pretty potent. All right, most people don't fear love unless there's something real here, something like very strong, very potent. This is a powerful couple, very powerful, a powerful duo. I feel like the masculine is being inspired to keep pushing along here with the resilient card. But there's this power and ener powerful energy here, and it's like a new initiative is happening between lovers here. Powerful duo. All right, with the lovers, this is like I feel like somebody's going through like a phase of almost like enlightenment. With the lovers, it's so unexpected. It's almost as if it's like it comes out of nowhere. It's a beautiful union. It's a beautiful romance. The Queen of Cups does not want to go back in. All right, so we saw that King of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups. So it could be two water signs. could be a Gemini. Um, but with the King of Cups that we saw with the Queen of Cups here, this is a very nurturing, beautiful love. All right, this is a very empathetic love. Um, it could be two empaths, people that are very empathic, very in tune. Wow, and then we have here the Ace of Cups here. All right, but something has to come to an end. And that's what you need to keep pushing. Don't fear this, all right? Because on the other side is going to be this beautiful, white, bright, beautiful energy here. So yeah, with that Ten of Swords here, it, it's you're, you're close. You're from the Nine to the Ten of Swords here. So you're getting there, all right? And once you hit this Ten of Swords, it can't get any worse. 
All right, something needs to be abandoned. Something needs to be left alone. All right, you need to just leave it behind you. Something needs to be left behind with the Five of Pentacles. I know it's difficult from what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of insecurity, a lot of issues going on in the mind is what I'm getting to. All right, with the High Priestess here, that could be Pisces. We do have that, like I said, that King, Queen of Cups, and then we have the Ace of Cups here. So there is a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear, um, but they're just on the verge of wanting to collapse because it's overwhelming. I feel like they've kind of slowed down a bit because they're still like in a bitter type of an energy. Not seeing much of, I'm seeing a little bit of like a betrayal here. Um, that's been kind of hidden, but all things hidden come to light. I feel like keep listening to that inner voice, all right? But there's a higher power around this, all right? There's there's spiritual energy written all over this reading here. So emerge from that cage, all right? Because right now, it's like you may be able to do a few things, but you can't go too far from the cage because you're literally pulled down. There's something connecting and there's a female here that is like I'm getting like puppet we have here the tower so yeah we have that change here all right that's coming in this change is coming in to dismantle something in your life that is not stable something that is not for you anymore All right, let's get this wrapped up because I don't think we need to go too deep here because, wow. So there could be a renewal between two lovers. You could be finding yourself with somebody here. And a lot of unexpected things are going to happen. We have here the Knight of Swords here. So I feel like somebody still, like I said, is a little bitter, a little angry. So they might, you know, if they do approach you, they could be a little um, defensive. A little assertive, a little direct. All right. But don't fear this tower. All right, don't fear it. It's a, it's a change that came out of, like I said, nowhere. It's not, it's... Just like, boom. But if we knew things in advance, that would really make people more hesitant. All right, so we have two aces here. We have the lovers here, the two people in the unexpected card. So yeah, there's two people here. A very powerful duo, very loving duo. We have here the eight of cups. There's that suffering and silent type energy that I was getting. But I feel like somebody's feeling very sad. They might have to leave behind something. They do with this change, all right? You don't have change unless you make moves, all right? And you, there's going to be times with the Three of Swords that it's going to hurt. It's not going to be easy. But it's to benef benefit you, all right? So in the near future, something is going to change in your life. All right, so big changes. Walking away from things that you've known for many years and moving into this new change, this new situation that's very powerful and passionate and spark. We have the magician here, all right? There's power in this relationship here. All right, this is solid with the Ace of Pentacles. That's the third Ace. A solid opportunity. There's, you guys have manifested this yourselves because it's like, it's such a powerful union and there is a higher power behind this and they're also making sure that this happens all right last card please 
we have here the moon. Yeah, you don't realize what's all being done. There's a lot being done behind the scenes. I feel like there is just a lot of um, emotion here too. I feel like Spirit's making you guys feel the emotion. We have here a beautiful gift. It's going to be arriving in your life here. All right. And it's going to complete you. It's going to make you feel good. Look at this. All right. You're really going to be heading down a beautiful destiny, a beautiful path. We have here the devil. But there's somebody watching that somebody might be communicating with that is... And what is that about? What is with the devil? Or somebody could just be like feeling very tempted to want to communicate is what I'm getting. Um, yeah. I feel like that's the thing is somebody is feeling tempted to communicate. So we do have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn. In Virgo. All right, so let's. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles here. Somebody's waiting on an opportunity or being pushed to communicate in order to get this opportunity here to build, to collaborate, to rebuild this tower. All right. Yeah, we have the Emperor here. Interesting. So let's pull from an oracle deck. All right. So this is pretty cut and freaking dry. Somebody is dealing with a lot of fear. We see that when it comes to change in life. Actually, I'm being told this one. I haven't pulled from this one in forever. This is the bird deck. All right. Birds are messengers. So I feel like these are going to be of significance here. We have the white eagle was one of them here. And the finch. All right. So we have the osprey. And then, oh, wow, at the top we have the stunning cardinal. A leadership role is unfolding. Success is coming. Abundance. Let it flow into your life. Let this change flow into your life. I see good things coming out of it. We do have here the white turkey. And we're in the month of Thanksgiving. The power to heal the earth is within you guys. That's why it's a powerful couple. Powerful duo. And that's why there's so much fear when it comes to this. You guys can change the fucking world. People may say that seems a little weird, a little off. No, it's not. Be surprised what two powerful spiritual beings with beautiful minds and hearts and souls can do. You've got the crow. Wow. The universe with the raven is calling you to notice important synchronicities that they're bringing into your life here. They're leading you. They're guiding you. The universal laws and truths are being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality with that ace of wand energy. All right. Got the falcon. The falcon speaks of using keen perception when it comes to like making decisions. Do not delay your decisions. Keep going. Oh, we got the white owl. Pay attention to these animals. A lot of white and black animals here. It's that fear and that purity merging. And create. you guys are like fear and purity merging together and creating that perfect fucking energy. The wisdom and messages of the divine are within you. Because that's what you're here for, to do. To heal the earth, to heal the world, to change the world. You guys be surprised how you guys can do that. Got the blackbird here. Got the grouse. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. And the magical and unique qualities 
um, within you are needing to be tapped into. And then we have the stunning cardinal, that masculine energy. Stand tall, that leadership role. I'm being guided to this one here quick. All right, let's do three. The Star Keeper, seed the light by staying grounded, cosmic ancestors. So we have here the whale and the orca, the elders. Speak your song, sing your song, taking a deep dive. It's going through that powerful change so you can lift the veil, have access to the veil. Anything unaligned needs to go. That's why you're going through these towers and this change here because Something better is on the horizon for you. The weight of the world. Yes, it's that resilient energy where it felt like just so many. This is, you're carrying too many burdens that are not yours. You're not alone. Your person is going to be coming unexpectedly. The count, the courageous peony. You guys have a unique nature. Show yourself. All right, the earth is pulsing. You can feel it. Spend time in nature. And I don't mean by killing nature either. People will go out in nature to sit, to hunt and kill animals, but they won't go out to just enjoy the beauty of it. Hidden secrets to lost wisdom look a little deeper. And then we have the Star Brothers. That speak of protection. All right. Writing any past wrongs that need to be done. Say you're sorry. All right. Baby steps. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. All right. I'm being told this one one more time. What is this about? It must be something else. All right. One more. Oh, we have the four of swords there. And then the chariot. Deep thought and rest brings success. All right. You're safe. You can trust. We have the four of pentacles here. Because there's some holding back here. A lot of holding back. Got the hierophant. All right. It's almost as if somebody just does not want to let go of something else. And I don't know if it's a marriage or what to be exact. Wants to come out that four of swords, two fours. There's that nine of sword energy here. Somebody is freaking worried about having to, it could be a marriage. Well, I guess that's been done maybe eight, nine years ago. It's like just move on you're defenseless right now speaks of uprooting we have here the two of swords yeah somebody is just so indecisive about having to leave something behind but it's dead it's done somebody's having a difficult time making a decision very difficult time so let's get this wrapped up here and, oh, yeah, and look at, there's a little freaking cardinal. Yeah, there's a little freaking cardinal on here. There's a reason why Spirit wanted this back out. Pay attention to cardinals. They don't normally come around you, and they do. They've just been showing up a lot more. There you have it. We have here the Seven of Cups. Yes, somebody right now is so confused. They're very confused on what to do. They feel like they don't have a whole lot of options. They could be living in like fantasy land. We got the judgment, yeah. But this is something that you brought on yourself too though. All right? It's about awakening. It's about rebirthing. It's about a reckoning. It's about shit happening. 
All right. You may have to lose something, but the sun is going to shine once it's all said and done. Follow your heart. Let your heart lead you. Apologize. Communication is where your success lies. Travel, whatever. All right. So I'm going to leave that there, you guys. All right. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.